He bunts it, a little squeeze. Scoglin's got it, his only play to first in time, and a great execution on both sides to get the run and to make the play. Scoglin with the right play there, he concedes the run going in. That slow roller didn't have a lot of option to get the run at the plate. It would have been bang, bang, and possibly you'd have still only had one out in the inning. You see how high that bounced off the front of the dish. Goes to first, gets the out. Now two outs and a man on. Race in 14 doubles, six homers. He's driven in 42 this year. 3-1 pitch, ground ball up the middle. That'll get the run in. Backhanded by Moore. Over to first in time. So a ground ball RBI for Grayson and does his job. Puts the ball in play up the middle with a runner at third base. And Grayson drives in his 43rd of the year. Three for six so far in the tournament. Ground ball to the left side. They may try to go around the horn. Five, four, three. Double play. Double play number 41 for the Cougars. Only the 11th double play this season that UCF is hit into. Wow. You stay at a That's double a play testament to team speed. Great pickup by Hollis. The flip's in time, and then right across the body, having to dodge the runner coming in. Era. I mean, they're <laughs> 5,000 yards of offense. High fly ball hit well to right field. Servants can only watch it go. And that one is off the concourse. And that may have hit the top of a palm tree. And that is going to rival Jeff Gardner's home run from yesterday with Memphis as far as the most impressive home run of this tournament. And Vasquez gets UCF on the board. That is his seventh homer, 53rd RBI of the year. Vasquez with that compact swing just puts the barrel of the bat on it, lifts it high into the air. That'll go over the retention wall. And off a palm tree. If not, it's bouncing. <laughs> this thing rolling here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. And a line drive to third over to first. And a great pick by Grayson for the 5-3 double play. As Williams lines out and then Diorio is doubled off by Hollis. Hollis has it come on him and wherewithal over to first on a hop. Beautiful stab there by Casey Grayson to get the twin killing and get him out of the inning. You see it. I have enjoyed it the BB core bats. Everyone likes home runs. Every game doesn't need to be 15 to 12 and four and a half hours long. I've enjoyed bringing the bunning game back into college baseball, the hit and run ball game, the strategy of the game. And there's a line drive in the left center field and this one is getting down all the way to the wall and Sorbanza is going to score and it's going to be an RBI double for Casey Grayson and it's three to one at Cougars. Third time this game Cervantes has let off with a hit and come in to score. That's the second RBI of the game for Grayson, his 44th. Grayson really battled in this at bat. Sends this one a long way on a line into left center field. Gets past the glove of Jamarcus Woods all the way to the wall, and by the time he's thrown it in, Cervantes has already come around to score. 1-1 one, one count, and a base hit off the middle. That's going to get one. Here comes Barker around a third. The throw comes in a second. So a two-run single by Justin Montemayor, and Montemayor drives in his 29th and 30th RBI of the year. Montemayor with a really hard hit ball past the diving second baseman. Moore, one run's already scored at this point. The throw from Salberg just hit the cutoff, man. Makes it a 5-1 game. High ball here. Could get him another run. He'll take the base hit, and he gets it. Another two runs. Are, oh, they're going to hold the runner at third base. His barber was way in in right field. Came around like he was going to go, but with the big inning in play right now, why risk it out of the plate? Hit through the side on the right field, and Barber will quickly, well, got the ball in. They hold the runner at third. Weight off the shoulders here tonight. They have had plenty of those hits. They've been able to find the RBI. And they get another one in the right field, and Barber playing in as they go back to his left. So the runner falls coming around third base, so they would have had two. Montemayor scores early, easy on the RBI single. Ratcliffe coming around third, lost his footing once he hit the grass. Ashford Fulmer to the plate, so Houston sends her ninth hitter to the plate. Ball pulled on a line into right field. Barber's got a ways to run, and Montemayor, I make it Ratcliffe, had an opportunity, just kind of stumbled with his wheels around third. Otherwise, it'd be an 8-1 to one game. Yeah. 
UCF. Trying to stay on that double play. Houston's turn two tonight. A 5-4-3 double play and a 5-3 line out double play. High fly ball to right field. That's got some carry. Will he get the opposite field? Homer? Yes. Just over the wall as Barber goes to the opposite field for a three-run homer. And here come the Knights storming right back into it. The six homer RBIs, 39-40 and 41. Trevance gave it a run and a leap. But too far out. And all of a sudden, it's a three-run game. Really tough luck for Garza. Left one out over the plate. You see the opposite field power there by Barber to just power it out over the wall into right field. I know we had pregame meal four hours ago, but you're going to have to wait another two hours. A high fly ball crushed to left field. And that one is up in the Frenchies area, up in that tiki hut. Just a couple of rows below, and Tommy Williams, his 12 home run, 45 runs batted in on the year, and a four-run inning here in the sixth for UCF, and it's a two-run ball game. Tommy Williams was already the American home run leader on the season. He just blasted his 12th long ball of the year deep into Frenchies off the bar stools, and it makes it a two-run game. Myers looks, there's a 1-0. Drives on the right at a shallow. Barber looks like he stumbled. It's going to fall in, and Houston's going to get a run back. Looking like Barber lost his footing as soon as he came forward to Vidalis at RBI single, and Montemayor will score. They get a run back to make it 8-5. But he's stabilizing a lot. Drives it into right center field. This one is going to get into the alley, and here comes Fulmer. He will score easily. An RBI double for Kyle Cervantes. Three runs in the inning for the Houston Cougars. They have the five-run lead at 10-5. Two extra base hits on the ball game for Kyle Cervantes. Sends this one a long way into the gap in right center field. He's going to be four for five at the end of tonight with a pair of runs driven in. As the righty righty matchup with Thompson. Ground ball into left field. He is going to drive in one. He's going to drive in two. A two run single. So he's got his hit for the night. Drives in RBIs 29 and 30. As with Hollis and Montemayor will score, and Rackliff will go to second and back to the top of the order. And with this hit through the left side, everyone in the lineup with a hit tonight. Two RBI single for the nine-hole man, Ashford Fulmer, making it a 13-5 game. As hard as, hit, as hard as Vasquez hits it, don't blame him. I think I would, too. The 3-2 pitch. Gets it one to right field. Cervantes can only look up. It's into the palm tree. Three-run home run for James Vasquez. His second home run of the game. That's a four-home run night for UCF. Vasquez, eighth home run of the year. 13 to eight, Houston leads it. Vasquez, a talented hitter, almost 340 on the season, goes down and just golfs this one, pulls it over the wall, into the palm trees and right, and UCF explodes out of their dugout. Second home run of the night for Vasquez, and you heard it here first, the first home run that Chase Welbrock's given up in 2014.